You wanna grow your Instagram account? I mean, really grow your Instagram account? Well, in today's video, we're gonna be teaching you step one. Step one, the foundation to growing a viral Instagram account that builds a loyal fan base, an engaged fan base, people that actually care about what you post, they care about your selfies and your gym flow shit. We are going to teach you how to create the perfect Instagram profile. I'm gonna be giving you my three-step method, like an exact process, an exact one, two, three, to creating an Instagram profile that knocks it out the park, that's perfect, that gets people engaged, that's ready to go viral, that's ready for success. So do this before any of those other countless YouTube videos of how to grow your Instagram account, because this is a legit method that I give to all of my clients. So you're going to be getting the exact same method that Hollywood's top entrepreneurs and influencers get, the exact, like step one, like first thing we do when we get a client is we take them through this method, right? So I'm gonna be teaching you how to use psychology so when somebody follows your page, they know exactly who you are and why they want to follow you. A lot of good stuff in here. Before we get into the video, make sure you're liked and subscribe to the fastest growing channel for entrepreneurs. That is this channel. I'm Bobby, AKA the Influencer CEO. And we have videos daily. Uh, Monday, we do motivation videos. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, social media automation videos. Really cool stuff. And then Friday, Saturday, we have IG growth tips, social media tips. Let's get right into this. We're gonna teach you how to create the perfect Instagram profile. The profile that's gonna set up your page to go viral, gain a massive loyal following. Let's, let's, let's get into it. Okay, so one thing I won't be doing in this video is telling you who you are. Like I can't reach past this camera right here. I can't reach past this camera, go into you, give you a consulting call and tell you what your niche is. You know, you're gonna to have to figure that out yourself. Now, I will say this, there aren't as many Instagram niches as you think there are. First of all, an Instagram niche is essentially a category that you fit into inside of Instagram. And there's really not as many as you think. There's a, you know, entrepreneur, there's beauty, there's fitness, there's health, you know, and then there's a couple other luxury niches or, or little niches like, you know, luxury, sports and all these things. So there really aren't that many options when it comes to creating, you know, when it comes, sorry, when it comes to finding your niche. So I will not be teaching you or helping you find your niche in this video. I will just be showing you how to create an Instagram profile that lets people know who you are, what you do, and why they should follow you. Okay, so the first step we need to take to creating the perfect Instagram profile is something that I can't help you with. I need you to think hard, think long and hard, Think about what it is, the reason why somebody would follow you. What is your unique characteristic? What is it you do that you're the best at? For example, are you an entrepreneur? Do you jump rope and you're the best rope jumper? Jumper of rope? Are you a makeup artist? What is your niche? Do research, find your niche, and make sure it has a large audience associated with it. So for example, entrepreneur is a really, really good one because entrepreneur is, is a reason why somebody would follow you. And it also has a large following. Real estate, good one, got a large following. Cereal eater, interesting, funny, but does not have a large audience about you. So what you need to do is find the one thing that you have, what is your page about? And unless you're super attractive, don't make it about just random stuff, right? You know, just photos of yourself. You know, make it really specific. The more specific, the better. Specific with a large body. So once you found that, what we need to do is called the rule of three. So we're gonna take that one characteristic about yourself, the reason why you think people will follow you, the reason why you think your page is worth following, and the thing that you want people to know about you, and we're gonna repeat it three times in your bio. So here we are at Ed Milet's page, and taking a look at his page right here, what do you guys think it is he does? I'll give you two seconds. Hint, he's an entrepreneur, right? So check it out, in his name we have entrepreneur. Underneath it, we have entrepreneur, and then here we have entrepreneur and fitness addict, so he repeats it three times and I don't have an article, I didn't have my sources. You know, when I was in college, I never did my fucking research. It's not gonna change for these YouTube videos. Christopher, throw up an article about psychology and something about things being repeated three times. But there's just, just take my word for it. When you repeat things three times, 
people remember it about you and they it correlates, something snaps in their brain, right? So now we know that Ed Milet is an entrepreneur. Trust me, throwing things one time in your bio is not enough. Here's why, when somebody follows your page, when someone follows your page, they really look at it for like two seconds. Unless you're a hot chick, they're looking at your Instagram page for two seconds, if that, right? So in that two seconds, you need to register as much information to the follower's brain as possible. So by saying entrepreneur, 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 in those two seconds, they know, huh, this guy's a fucking entrepreneur. And if they are an entrepreneur themselves, if they relate to that, they will follow you, right? So that's what we're doing here is we are giving people a reason to follow us by repeating what we do three times, right? Not only that, what we're doing is we're setting our account up for success. So now they know Ed Milet is an entrepreneur. So now every time that Ed Milet posts a story, it's as an entrepreneur. Like how, how powerful is that? Think about it this way. Why do people watch rappers Instagram stories so much well yes because they have a loyal fan base but when they go shopping they're not going shopping as a like a normal person nobody gives a shit if somebody goes shopping but if you go shopping as a rapper the culture is behind it you know what are they gonna do you know there's so much more to a rapper going shopping than to a person going shopping so when Ed Milet post a story we know entrepreneur 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 we know Ed Milet is an entrepreneur so every time he posts something it makes sense, like he's posting things about books, he's posting things about life, and it's coming from him as an entrepreneur. And it's just cemented in your brain. Let's take a look at another one. So here's a girl called Plant Based Jane, right? And let's look at her. First of all, her username says it, Plant Based. Okay, great. But then we have right here, vegan, vegan, vegan. Well, guess what? Jane is vegan. And all of her content is vegan. And if you're a vegan, you are going to see this and instantly go, she's a vegan, I'm a vegan, I'm going to follow her, right? So the, the secret here to the rule of three is simply to repeat what you do three times. If you're a real estate agent, world's best real estate agent, I've closed 30 sales in one year, I can teach you how to sell. So we didn't exactly say real estate agent, real estate agent, real estate agent, but we've said real estate agent in three different ways right here. So we could do something like real estate agent, born to sell, you know, three things like that. So whatever you want people to know about you, repeat it three times in your bio and do a little activity yourself. Go through and look at some of the biggest profiles on Instagram for entrepreneurs, fitness people, and you'll find that they repeat what they do many different times in their bio. So that's step one, find what it is you wanna do and repeat it three times in your bio. Step two. Step two to creating the perfect Instagram profile is give value. So we have the rule of three, so people know what you are. Now, that's not enough. So for example, for 99% of us, if we say we're an entrepreneur, that relates to people, yes, but who gives a shit? If you're a girl on Tinder, you know that every single guy puts entrepreneur in your bio. In 2019, everybody is an entrepreneur. So that's not enough reason to follow somebody just being an entrepreneur. So what we need to do is then either give value or demonstrate value, okay? So we're gonna either give value or demonstrate value. Now, how do we do that? Now, let's go back to Ed Milet's page since he is an entrepreneur. Okay, so here is a way we can give value. There's several ways. Now one, you see he has something called his two minute drills and he immediately gives value. So Ed Milet is an entrepreneur and here he is giving his two minute drills and this is a fitness drill and he is really into entrepreneurs who work out. He believes that they go hand in hand. So he is giving away value right there. Now you can also give away a value in your link by, you know, for example, I'm sure in his link he gives a link to his podcast. You could do a link to five best articles for entrepreneurs, or you can demonstrate value, okay? So those are your two, why do I keep doing this? Those are your two options. You can either give value by doing a pinned story. So for example, Ed Milet has these awesome inspiration things. He's got quotes, so he's given value. Anybody can give value. Anybody can give value, or he can demonstrate value. So for example, he, here's him with a Bentley. Here's him 
you know, with a private jet. So he is demonstrating value, okay? Demonstrating value. So this is a harder one to do if you're an entrepreneur, right? So let, let's, let's figure out the keys to success here to creating the perfect Instagram bio. One, repeating what you have three times, what you do, okay? But that's not enough. After that, you need to either give value or demonstrate value. So now we have an entrepreneur that is either given away his three secrets to e-com success or something like that, or he has a picture with a Bentley and a Lamborghini, and now the mind is going, he's an entrepreneur and he's not fake, okay? He makes money, all right? So he's real, he's authentic. He's either put in the effort to write a piece of content and to give it value, or he has put in the hard work to get a Lamborghini or something like that. So demonstrating value is incredibly, incredibly important. And remember the ways we could do that are through pin stories. There's so many things you could do, but just know you have to either give value or demonstrate value. So that is step two. All right, and the third step, Got to write that time. The third step to creating the perfect Instagram profile is to simply have a great profile picture. Now this profile picture needs to stand out. It needs to visibly show your face and it needs to be bright, okay? So just to show you what I'm talking about, here's Gerard Adams right here. He's got a nice clean profile picture. His face stands out. And let's go to suggested users so I can kind of prove this. We have Dean, face picture, we have Damon John, face picture that is very visible. Patrick, face picture that is very visible. Tim Grover, face picture that is very visible. All these people have 100K plus followers, 300K, 700K, etc. So make sure your face is visible because you're a brand at the end of the day, whether this is a page for your business, for you know a grilled cheese page that you make grilled cheese. Like you are a brand, you're the face. If you are the face, it needs to be in there. Profile picture it needs to clearly stand out. An extra tip, a bonus tip you can do is you can see that Gerard right here has photoshopped a green ring around his profile picture. Why is this? Well, those green rings and those purple rings you get every time you post a story. So every time you post an Instagram story, you get that purple ring. So if looking at all these pages right here, you know, which ones stand out to you? It's the ones with the purple ring. Well, not everybody posts stories every single day, so they don't always have that purple ring, which is a competitive advantage if you're looking through pages. So he photoshops one in. That's just a recommended thing if you want to kind of stand out. It's a little extra step you can take. Some people think it looks good, some people don't, but it does help you stand out. So that's it. That is the three steps to creating the perfect Instagram profile. Let's go over it one more time. The first thing we did was we found out what exactly we are, who we are, and why people would follow us in the first place. And we've repeated it three times in our bio. Then we've either given value or demonstrated value, okay? By either writing uh, you know, a blog or you know, giving away my three steps to this or posting a photo with a Lamborghini, you know, et cetera, right? So we have found our niche, told people three times, given value or demonstrated value, and then just had a clean profile picture and an aesthetic, an aesthetic, aesthetic, aesthetic Instagram bio that has emojis. A good tip for this would just be find someone similar to you and copy their Instagram bio style you know, like a, the bullet point style works for everybody, right? So just make sure it's clean, legible, aesthetic, and repeats what you do three times. Now, the last thing I wanna go over is what not to do. So a lot of people don't do Instagram bios because they don't think it matters, right? So let's go to Lil Pump right here. And now we see Lil Pump, he's got 17 million followers and his Instagram bio is shit. It's just his song, it's one sentence, who cares? If Lil Pump has 17 million followers and a shit bio, why do I need to put all this time and effort in my bio, Bobby, why? Well, the thing is, one, we ain't Lil Pump. So we're not Lil Pump, right? And the thing is, 80% of profiles like this with half-assed bios, the majority of their followers come from outside of Instagram. Think about that. So. Most of the time when you see someone with a bio like this, they already know who they are. So it's no need to repeat who they are to let people know because their followers are coming from outside of Instagram, usually from YouTube, from music, from fame, from TV, wherever. So the rules don't really apply to them. So don't, don't focus on pages like this and kind of copy their style because in the long run, it's better to do what we do. And another little bonus tip besides putting the ring uh, on by photoshopping the ring on your profile picture that I mentioned a second ago. Another bonus tip is to put the word that you are associated with. So for example, if I'm an entrepreneur, to put it in your name, right? Why? Because check this out. 
Let's say that I am a digital entrepreneur or a digital marketer. Marketer, right? So check it out. If you are a digital marketer, you will actually start to rank for it in Instagram search. So now when people type in a uh, digital marketer, they'll be able to find your page. So this isn't necessary because some people just like to have their name, but it's just a little advanced tip for you that if you are say, I don't know, jump rope, let's see if this comes up, jump rope, something like that. Right, so check it out. This guy is a jump rope mentor and I would have never found this guy if I didn't type in jump rope mentor and you can see his name ranks. Well, his name is jump rope mentor and his username is jump rope mentor. So he ranks really well. And then you have other people that are ranking for the words jump rope, okay? So putting your uh, keyword or your niche in your name is another advanced tip as well. So there you have it, the three steps to take to create the perfect Instagram bio. So if you do this correctly, you've set the foundation for a viral Instagram page that's capable of reaching hundreds of thousands of Instagram followers. That's it for today's video. Make sure you like and subscribe to the fastest growing channel for entrepreneurs. That's this channel right here. I'm Bobby, AKA the Influencer CEO. And I've actually taken all these steps that we've talked about today and written a little book about it and included some extra steps. It's called the Instagram Success Kit. So if you want that, I'm gonna give it to you guys for free. Comment I want in below and I will send you the Dropbox link to that. I'm gonna cut this off really short just because this is the first draft of it and I kinda of want people to give me some feedback on it. So I'm actually looking forward to you guys reading it and letting me know what you think. So if you want this, all of these tips that I gave you plus some more extra tips in a, a PDF book format, comment I want in below and I will send you the link uh, a Dropbox links where you can Dropbox Dropbox link where you can download it. Did I already say like and subscribe? I'll see y'all next time. Bye.